Hello there, this is Brian, and here is Maverick, and welcome to another one of our outdoor adventures. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another amazing adventure. Today, we are hiking through Valley Forge National Park in Southeast Pennsylvania. So before we get started, if you'd like to take a moment and smash that like button and subscribe for future content if you haven't already, we would really appreciate it. So Valley Forge, it's one of our preferred favorite parks in the area. I've gone through here quite a bit and it really offers a lot of different types of scenery and routes as you go through part of it can be paved part of it can be your traditional dirt trail there's also an extra path you can take through nearby woods and what's great about this park is not just the diversity of what you're going to see but of course its historical significance this played a very large part in the revolutionary war for the united states of america and They've done a really good job of restoring this. The park itself, actually, after the after the Revolutionary War, most of these farmlands went back to the farmers, and they went about their, you know, traditional lives of raising livestock and everything. And most of what was put together here during the Revolution, all the small log cabins that the soldiers stayed in, and the fortifications, actually ended up disappearing through time so they've actually done a good job of restoring this they come through every year and they've rebuilt a lot of the log cabins that uh, that reenact what the soldiers would live in and they have it, it's it's a really well taken care of park overall it's also a really fun part to go to there's lots of open fields uh, and you generally get a really pleasant happy atmosphere in this area and as you can see here, Maverick just loves this part. So for this hiking video, I think what I'm going to do is lay back a little bit on the narration, sort of let this kind of flow as it goes. This is actually probably going to be a two-parter. As I went through this park on this run, I actually took a ton of different photographs. And I want to share those as we go to. And I'll try to add tidbits of my own personal knowledge to what we see as we go along here. So, I hope you enjoy. This is the United States National Memorial Arch, and it's the original entrance to this park. It was erected to commemorate the arrival of General George Washington and the Continental Army into Valley Forge. It was first commissioned in 1907, and it was actually supposed to be two arches. Uh, this one ended up being created. It's really something to see too when you come here. And they actually light it up beautifully at night as well too.
Now this is actually a pretty interesting part of the park here. They built these cabins as reenactment facilities for a lot of the programs they hold here at the park. Inside there's a lot of living history as well as uh, displays of how people uh, or soldiers stayed inside of these. They also actually do a lot of reenactments in this specific area, including if you come at the right time of the day during the summer on a weekend, uh, you can actually watch them firing off some of the cannons as well too, which is pretty awesome to see. Definitely if you're in the area and you're going to tour this uh, park, this is one of the areas you can stop in. I guess I should mention too, you know, when the nice thing about this is if you are visiting the uh, Philadelphia area and you make your way to Valley Forge, now you can hike the whole thing like we did, but there's actually a really good auto loop that follows this whole area pretty much that we're hiking through. Um, so it can save you a little bit of time, especially if it's maybe really hot during that uh, time of the year. And um, it actually is a really beautiful drive as well. So definitely recommend it. Now up here on the left, you're going to see the visitor center when you enter the main entrance of this park. This is what you come across and it's actually a really good visiting center. They've been doing a lot of remodeling of it over the past few years and it really, they do really have some good exhibits in there. They have a movie you can watch that gives the background of this whole uh, park and definitely recommend stopping in there. So This right here is actually a local church, um, not specifically associated uh, or part of the Valley Forge Park, but definitely actually something to see. Um, there's some pretty awesome uh, displays inside here as well. And of course, keeping with the theme, it, it does have a Valley Forge theme as well too. Just note that this was built well after the park and in, in, in Valley Forge itself. so. I believe it was built within the last century.
Now this next monument up here that looks like the Washington Monument is actually the Waterman Monument. It was dedicated in 1901 by the Daughters of the American Revolution. And it's a monument to all the soldiers who lost their lives at Valley Forge. It's a 50-foot uh, granite obelisk, and it has a base of about 10 feet, and it really is something to see, and it's kind of off to the side of the park, not in the main area. So, that being said, its proximity to the church we just visited actually does draw a lot of attention toward it. So, and as I think we came up here, we actually saw somebody that was sitting down painting as well. Some beautiful views here as well, too. Well, Maverick and I would like to thank you again for coming along with us on our amazing adventure as we went through part one of our hike through Valley Forge National Park. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you can click that like button. It really does help us out, and we look forward to seeing you again in part two. Until then, take care.